And in this video, I'm going to be simplifying the discipline of tithing, why it's important, and ultimately, is this something you should do? All that and more. Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're brand new, welcome. The purpose of this channel is I'm here to show you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. And if that's something that vibes with you, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit bell notifications so you know exactly when I upload a video. And if at the end of this video, you like this video, well, hit that like button as it does help out the algorithm so more people can see this beautiful apostolic content. Well, hey, my name's Mario again. And in today's video, I'm gonna be simplifying the discipline of tithing. Now, you may be just like me. Tithing for you growing up, was really pulling out the spare change out of my mom's purse, throwing that in the little bucket. It was always my dad writing a check and I never truly understood really what tithing meant. Maybe this video is for you to grasp a better understanding. Someone's been questioning you on it. And hopefully in this video, I'm gonna be answering all that for you. But to get right to it, we really need to understand what the word tithe means. So do this for me. Next time you see the word tithe, I want you to imagine in your head a 10, throw a little percent sign on it, and boom, 10% or one tenth. That's literally what tithing means. It really means 10%. Now, I know there's a ton of controversy out in the media. You hear of all these wealthy, ultra wealthy pastors who are openly, blatantly stealing from the church. While that does happen, that's an exception. That definitely is not the norm. I'd say 99% of all churches are done in an orderly, biblical way. And I can definitely vouch for the apostolic church. I know for a fact we do it right. But this video is not about that, okay? I just wanted to address it. This video is about tithing, why it's important, and should you do it? Well, you might be asking yourself, you know, at what age do you tithe? Well, it really doesn't matter. If you're five and you make money, 10, 12, 24, 44, 64, if you're making an income and you're an apostolic Christian, God expects you to tithe as it serves as a discipline. Remember, God gave you 100% of everything you have. All the money, cars, technology, clothes, food, roof over your head, job to make money. He's giving you all that and all he's saying is, hey, I want you to keep 90% and I want 10% for me. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what do I tithe exactly? Well, it's simple. You tithe the money you make. You tithe your income. Now I'm gonna make this real simple for you by giving you an example. Let's say you get paid like most people every two weeks and you get, boom, a thousand dollar check in your bank account. You see a thousand dollars and you're thinking, all right, cool. I'm going to give 10% of that. So if you do the math, 10% of a thousand dollars is $100. Beautiful. Now, here's where a lot of people make mistakes. And to be honest with you, I made this mistake for years. I didn't know about this till literally like two years ago. And I'd been tithing literally most of my adult life. So uh, at 28 is really when I discovered what, how to truly tithe. And you know, God was merciful to me. And once I explained it to you all, and quite frankly, you all might be making this mistake, but once God opened up my eyes um, about this, I realized that, wow, I can give more. And it actually made me excited. So let's go back to that thousand dollars. That thousand dollars you've made in two weeks, that's what's called your net income. That is a figure called your gross income minus taxes, insurance, social security, investments, whatever. Okay, that's what your employer actually gave you or what you made ultimately after all those things. But what you need to do is you need to go a little bit further. And if you work for somebody, you need to figure out how much you truly made during those two weeks. And so for this example, let's say you actually made $1,200. That's called your gross income. That's before you pay out your taxes, before you pay out your insurance, before you pay out social security, before you pay out your investments. That's actually what you truly made. And that's the figure you need to be tithing from. Now, for me personally, I was that guy who saw $1,000 in my bank account. I gave $100, boom, didn't even think of it. But it wasn't until someone revealed that to me through a Bible teaching that it's actually, right, it's the money before. But in this example, if you made $1,200, you actually should be tithing $120. Remember, God wants a 10% of all your income before you start giving it out to the government and insurance and your personal investments. He wants what you've made before all that. 
And so actually in this case, you would tithe $120. Not a big difference, but it's ultimately about obeying what God asked for us to do. And to be honest, once I did that, not that I was ever really hurting financially uh, before, it really just gave me more freedom. It really gave me more joy and made me even more excited to give. I'm like, wow, I can give more to God. And so hopefully now with this small example, you can apply it to your own income that you've made, uh, whatever amount that may be. Ultimately, just look for 10% of your gross income what you've made before you start paying all your taxes, investments, insurance, social security, all that stuff. And I promise you, this is what God really wants for us. But I do want to end this video though with some biblical principles behind it. It's not really enough for me to tell you what tithing is if I don't show you what the word says. Now, the best excerpt that I've found is found in the Old Testament in Malachi 3, and it reads like this. Should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me of the tithes and offerings due to me. Here we find a dialogue between Malachi and God, and God literally calls out Malachi and says, you have cheated me of my tithes and offering. Now, we find a new word here, offering. Well, what's offering? Offering is anything above that you want to give to God that is not required. But I promise you, if you will start tithing, look what God also says here. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's army, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. Your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes will not fall from the vines before they are ripe, says the Lord of Heaven's army. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, says the Lord of Heaven's army. Wow. God truly, truly wants to bless his people, but he doesn't want to do it really in a monetary fashion. This is also the same God that says it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter into heaven. So don't always think that tithing is just about giving back and then, you know, waiting for that great blessing or waiting for that random check inside the mail. It's not about that. Guys, tithing is ultimately a discipline. It's to really take away, in my opinion, you know, the greed that us men suffer with money, right? We focus so much attention on money, so much divorces happen because of money, so much wars and, and, and political debates happen over money. But if we will just be disciplined and give God what is God's, you know, he will bless us. He will ultimately provide you all the things that you need. And that's really what he's done in my life. That's pretty much all I've got today for this video. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a future video of doing my own personal finances, my, my financial spreadsheet, and really just showing you all what me and my wife have, have done over the years. And if that's something that really interests you, you know, definitely comment down below. Uh, I'd love to share that with you all. A little sensitive. I don't see a lot of people do that on YouTube, but I think someone would learn from it. And hey, all uh, honor and glory to God if someone were to open up their eyes and just see a real world example. So anyways, with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Remember, we are real apostolics, real problems, real solutions, all solved in a divine way. My name is Brother Mario. Peace.